Thanks again. And I'd very much like to hear more about your work and why a woman Why who... is a Muslim woman helping Armenian Christians? Everyone who comes here asks the same thing. Because I'm a woman by nature. Women in my country are angry. We've been angry for 100, 200, 300 years. At Turkish men. At men. And we have grown tired of being angry in silence. You were in court two days ago. I've been observing you. Huh? So you're a spy? <laughs> a documentarian. I'd really like to hear more about the work you're doing. I was in the court to help this uh, distressed woman. She wanted a Turk's admission that he was her father. Of course, the man's estate denies it, because to acknowledge her would be to admit that he raped her mother, because her father took the Turkish man's sisters as hostage in order to bargain for the release of his daughter. And so it has been, from jealousy to resentment, from resentment to hatred, from hatred to revenge, from revenge to rape, from rape to denial, and from denial to rejection. Rejection? Oh, when the families exchanged girls, they learned that the girls had been raped and rejected them. Did this Turk ever admit to fathering the girl? <laughs> The judge said she was more interested in his property than his paternity. He couldn't be a good father to her. The least she should expect from him was what ought to belong to her. You had your father build this woman's center here. I know how difficult that must have been. Well, the, the center was built from my father's money, may he rest in peace. Uh, as a Muslim, it is our duty to help the needy. <laughs> but <laughs> deep in our hearts, we know the truth, and we are afraid of ourselves. So I tell Muslims to not be afraid of their own selves. Is that possible? If they accept the truth. Will they? We have to live with ourselves, don't we? Would you speak on camera? Oh, I'm no film star. 